Hey everybody, Mike Walters with the Stern team and Keller Williams here again for another Stern team market moment. So you may have heard something in the news about the National Association of Realtors and them settling a lawsuit. Today, I'm gonna to dive into some of the key points of that lawsuit and how it impacts the real estate market. So let's talk about how this settlement impacts commissions. And truth be told, it is not going to impact commissions being paid. It just impacts how commissions are being paid. You see, in the past, a seller typically would pay the, the seller's brokerage, whatever negotiated upon commission was agreed upon, and then the brokerage would share the commissions between the both seller and the buyer brokerage. That is a thing of the past. What's happening now is the uh, commission will be negotiated up front directly between the seller and the buyer. The second point is the perception that it's going to impact prices. In fact, a lot of what I've been reading has been saying that this lawsuit is gonna draw prices down. And truth be told, here in Utah, that won't be the case, and let me tell you why. First, commissions have always been a part of the sale price, and they always will. Now, to what degree or what amount, that's gonna be negotiated upon. The second piece is we have a supply problem here in the state of Utah where demand far outpaces what we have available for sale. And for that reason, primarily, you're gonna see prices continuing to appreciate over time. The third point is buyer representation. Now, a couple of things are changing, but what is not is the fact that a buyer will need a buyer agent to tour our property. In the past, this could be done without having representation, but with this settlement, a buyer is going to have to have a signed buyer broker agreement with the buyer agent before, that's the key point, before they go to our homes. Now, the second thing that is changing is how buyers are involved with commission because in the past, as I mentioned, the seller agent would, and their brokerage would share the commission with the buyer agent. Well, now that's being eliminated and unless there's pre-negotiated um, determination of fees being paid on behalf of the seller directly, the buyer is gonna be responsible for paying the buyer agent their commission. Which leads me to my third point here, which is some buyers are thinking, well, I'm just gonna go out and work directly with the seller agent and therefore avoid having to pay a buyer agent. And that's troublesome in one real big regards, and that is if I'm a buyer and I go to a seller agent to have them do the work for me, who is that seller's agent responsible to? Are they responsible to the seller or are they responsible to me as a buyer? Well, clearly no, their responsibility and fiduciary is to the seller. So essentially I am an unrepresented buyer, which puts me at a lot of risk in terms of writing the offer, negotiating an offer, and ultimately getting that across to the finish line with no hiccups. And finally, my last point is in regards to first time home buyers. And truthfully, this is a challenge um, as we move forward because buyers now may be responsible for paying the buyer agent commission up front, this puts first time home buyers in a, in a real pinch. And so I know there's a lot of early discussion out there in the world, specifically with lenders and the federal government on what can be done on their side to help first time home buyers. So stay tuned because there is still a lot more information coming out is in regards to first time home buyers and how this specifically is going to impact them. And as always, if you have any questions or want to discuss this further, please give us a call. We'd love to discuss it with you. A reminder, stay tuned with us, keep subscribed, watch our videos, because our goal is to keep out in front and keep you educated on everything that's happening in the real estate industry so that we can keep you in the forefront. Take care.